One of the most important problems English speakers have is they forget the words. They know a lot of words, but they aren't able to use those words in the right place and at the right time. In this video, I'm going to give a solution for this. And this solution will be permanent solution for this problem. Watch the video till the end and I'm going to give you such tips which you have never heard before. So come on friends, let's start. Friends, as I told you that vocabulary we have, we have written down all the words in our notebook. We know the meaning of those words, but we aren't able to use those words at the right time and the right place. This problem is a big problem with English learners. But before going into this problem, I will tell you some important thing here. Friends, as you know me uh, since many months, maybe years also, I am training in the field of psychology, positive psychology, communication development and soft skills. This I am doing this since last 18 years. But since last 5 to 6 months, I have started my online training now. This training is for those who want to speak fluently, confidently and they want to go on the stage, speak there very confidently. This training is not any ordinary grammar based training. This training is a training based on psychological facts, psychological techniques. Dear friends, I don't sell any apps, as you know. I do not promote any other uh, useless stuff on my channel because I believe in authenticity. I believe in honesty. That's the reason why this is my channel and I take personal training for this. This is the online training will, which will help you to speak fluently and confidently. So if you are interested, Read the description, all the details are given there. My staff members will help you, just email me. Alright, so let's come back to the original topic, that is vocabulary. Now dear friends, as I told you that we know a lot of the words, we have written down the words, we have collected the words, but we aren't able to use those words. Well, why this happens? There is a simple fact, nearly 25% we forget daily. This is what science tells us. And now the word which you have written down today, you forget after three to four days. This is the reality. Now what to do? But before that, I will tell you one very interesting thing about vocabulary. See, vocabulary, uh, people who are very intelligent, knowledgeable, they have a lot of vocabulary. This is the research being done. A good vocabulary, a person having a good vocabulary has many advantages. One of them is reading. He can read many books as he wants and he can grasp them quickly. He will get more knowledge out of those books. Another advantage is those who have good vocabulary, they are better communicators. They express the idea in a short word, in one or two words. This helps them to develop better relationships and this also helps them in their per corporate life, personal life. If you are a businessman, you can give rocking presentations. Now, very important advantage of having good vocabulary is you can watch movies, you can watch web series without any problem. Just easily you can watch them, you can understand them nicely. Last advantage of vocabulary is you get more respect. You are admired, you are adored by everyone. So with all these advantages, then why we aren't able to remember all the words? There are many reasons behind them. And the first reason is curiosity. See, in your research it is found that Kids between the age of 4 to 10, they develop thousands of words in this short span. Why they do it? What which skill they have? Of course, their brain is growing. It is very plastic. But another reason is, kids are very curious. They are hungry to learn. But this curiosity wanes, goes down after 18 years. You may have seen 18 years after 18 years, Adults don't learn much. They are not hungry to learn. Like the graph is like this. It comes down. This is the problem we have. Why we don't have the hunger? You can, you can figure it out. Like uh, many students come to me for campus placements. They are working very hard before the campus placements. But once they get placed, they stop working on themselves. The same example is found in government jobs. Students work so hard in the competitive exams. And once they get placed, they stop working. They stop developing and they say that they don't have time. This is the main reason why your vocabulary is not improving and you aren't able to re remember the words also. Curiosity. Number two, if you want to remember the words, the very powerful technique I use in my online training is teach the word. Now, in this technique, what you have to do is you have to study the word and you have to 
teach the word to fellow members when you teach the word you remember more because while teaching you have to understand it you have to explain it and this helps you to remember the word more efficiently number 3 method which is again very interesting but it has some psychological touch you will find very weird the method is don't use musts see what happens is we we learn all the words and we expect that with the words which you have you know you must use them here must is there must will pressurize you must will create unnecessary pressure on you and you forget the word don't must yourself you preference okay what is preference means you tell yourself that i prefer to use the word if i remember it's good if i don't remember no problem in this way you will remember better words you will remember and recall the word rightly at the right place because now you have no pressure on yourself second technique which i told you is this must delete the must and replace with preference come on let's move forward another technique is there well i told you friends i don't give shortcuts i give authentic techniques they are lengthy but they are helpful for whole life now another technique is there which is again very effective is do not by heart the meaning of the word you are going to forget you have to imagine the word because words are nothing but ideas okay words are ideas i mean let us take an example the word is shabby okay s h a b b y shabby means what shabby means untidy or shabby means a person who doesn't uh, keep well doesn't dress well shabby well don't by heart the meaning imagine it imagine means what try and think of a person who is shabbily dressed so in this way you will be able to remember the word and recall the word for a, for the right time and for the longer duration see here we think in the form of pictures we think in the form of videos we don't will not be able to remember the words if we by heart the meaning of the words come on guys the next technique is again very powerful which i use a lot my favorite technique don't chase words chase knowledge what i mean to say is people who are knowledgeable they have a lot of vocabulary but their vocabulary is a by product of their knowledge what i want to say is they read a lot because they are hungry for knowledge they they read from politics they read from sports they read from food vocabulary they read from uh, uh, blogs they read a lot because they are hungry for knowledge and due to that their vocabulary becomes stronger so don't chase vocabulary chase knowledge do not put cart before the horse put the horse before the cart put the knowledge before the vocabulary vocabulary will follow you i hope all of you are enjoying let us move ahead another very interesting technique is going to come here and this technique is very powerful understand one thing you forget the words why because you don't use the words you have to use the words what you don't use you lose so another technique is use the words use those words in writing use those words try to use those words in speaking these will help you in recalling those words what happens is our brain deletes those words which are not used brain thinks that we don't need that and it thinks like it's a garbage so delete that recycle bin so use those words try to use them when you try to use them your brain will keep those words in a high priority list and it will supply you okay let us move ahead now so the next technique is this technique is called as soak your brain in english what i mean to say is for that you have to follow my english habits in a day you have to read you have to watch you have to listen now when you write down the words while reading when you and when you listen you will realize that the words which you have written down in the notebook will appear in the audio books then you can remember yeah yeah this word was written in my notebook this is the same word what happens this helps you to revise the vocabulary without referring the notebook suppose you are watching a nice ted talk and the word appears there you will remember you will recall yeah this word i know this i had written in the notebook so in this way your brain when it is soaked into english you will be able to remember the words getting my point i mean you will be able to revise those words regularly without referring the notebook let us move ahead now another technique not technique it's like a attitude if you are expecting to build your vocabulary in 2 or 3 months please i'm sorry it's not going to work vocabulary development is a lifelong process it takes months and in sometimes sometimes years also so that is a problem change your attitude change your beliefs this will take lot of time 
don't believe in any video which claims that develop 1000 words in 30 days or 20 days. It's not going to happen. Our brain forgets it. And last and most important point, stay disciplined and consistent. This point is my favorite point actually, because you are not going to achieve anything in life without discipline and consistency. Consistency is the result of discipline. If you are disciplined, you will become consistent. Consistent means all these techniques which I have told you, you have to be consistent in those techniques. You have to use them regularly. You cannot do it once a week. Every day we have to do it. If you want to master communication, if you want to master this, this very attractive language, you have to be consistent. And consistency is required everywhere. You want to be fit, you have to be consistent. All right, friends. Yeah. So these are some of the techniques which I shared with you. Let me revise it. Number one, I told you curiosity. Number two, I told you teach, teach others. Number three, I told you don't must yourself. Number four, I told you just imagine the world. Don't buy hard the world. Next point I told you, which was knowledge first. Next point was, yeah, use it or lose it. Next point was, it was very interesting. What was point? Soak this word. Soak your brain in English. When you soak your brain in English, you will remember. Next point was, yeah, don't expect a magic to happen. It will take some time. And last point I told you is consistency and discipline. Friends, if you follow these techniques, I know that it, this sounds very long list, but they're authentic and they're going to give you results. Thanks for watching this video and goodbye friends. See you.